Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My writings of the 90s, after graduating from King Saud University in Riyadh, where I did my thesis on esoteric sects in North America, I began my PhD in the University of Wales in England, which focused on the exorcist tradition in Islam. The area of the jinn was something which was confused. I know as I studied in Medina, studied there for five, six years, the jinn were spoken about, etc., here, there, and in passing, etc., but clarity, besides the fact that the jinn have their believers amongst them and disbelievers, you know, depth of understanding wasn't there. And in fact, when I decided to find a topic, the topic I decided for my PhD was to be jinn related because there was so little information to give clarity regarding it. So I did travel. I traveled to Sri Lanka, to India, different parts of India, Pakistan. I went to Medina. I went to Trinidad in Central America. And I went to Sudan. I went to Egypt, you know, to research among those people who claim to be dealing with the jinn, who were engaged in various forms of exorcism, removing the jinn from people. So in the course of my study, one of the texts which I found, I translated and commented on, it was called Risalat Ibn Taymiyyah Fil Jinn, Ibn Taymiyyah's treatise on the jinn. That was published prior to the completion of my PhD uh, in order for people to get access to that information, uh, which you know, was from a reliable source. And I did a commentary on the translation. So this is the, the book I called Ibn Taymiyyah's essay on the jinn. And I put under it, demons. Because in English, jinn may not have very much uh, meaning. Demons also has maybe only a bit more. But anyway, I go into the detail. This is the original cover, which I designed uh, myself, because I was still publishing, doing my own publishing. It's been uh, reprinted. Uh, this is one of the reprints by the International Islamic Publishing House. And there's another print, which is even more attractive uh, on this particular topic. So as I said, this topic was related to my thesis, you know, because I was already involved in studying about the jinn. And my thesis uh, title was the exorcist tradition in Islam. And I'll go into that when I look at the book, because the book was published from it. But the, the book on the jinn was, uh, at that time in the 90s, rare. There are very few books available in English about the jinn. So it became very, very popular. People tend to be um, attracted to it, uh, attracted to the topic, the jinn, etc. And um, it brought clarity uh, to many who had really no idea of really what the jinn are. They're part of our belief system, you know, because you do have people who deny the existence of the jinn altogether. But the evidences are brought and it is shown to be a part of Islamic belief. It's part of the unseen world that we do believe in. And uh, Allah, of course, is the greater part of the unseen world, but the jinn represent a part of that world. And they were created before humankind, you know, which is why the angels had raised issue 
when Allah said he was going to create a human being who would have free will as the jinn did. Because what happened when they preceded human beings is that they ended up fighting amongst themselves and killing each other, spilling their blood. And so the angels questioned Allah, why would you go and do another one? Going to do the same thing. And Allah clarified that he knew what they didn't know. 